As many as 100 of the US's nuclear weapons are reportedly stationed surrounding Russia and European NATO territories in a nightmare situation for Vladimir Putin. Several NATO countries do have their own arsenals too, but this refers specifically to US weapons. The B-61 nuclear bomb is the US main type of thermonuclear gravity bomb, meaning it is even more destructive than the first-generation atomic bombs. The weapons can be dropped by dual aircraft, which is likely why they are kept at air bases. And these bombs might not only stay limited to continental Europe, According to U.S. government budget documents, RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk is set to be upgraded, and some believe that will hand it the ability to store B-61-12 nuclear bombs. But the Ministry of Defense has so far refused to clarify whether U.S. nuclear weapons would be returning to the U.K. The American weapons on NATO territories are thought to be kept in underground vaults of the airbases, with a permissive action link, POW, code restricting their use to the U.S. While there are thought to be 100 U.S. nuclear bombs in NATO territory today, back at the peak of Cold War tensions there were thought to be a staggering 7,300 or so. But the U.S. does not have a shortage of bases on its own territory, where thousands of weapons are kept. U.S. strategic bombers are kept at the Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota and the Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. The U.S. also has ICBM silo fields in its Francis E. Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming and its Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana. There are submarine bases in Kings Bay in Georgia and Kitsap in Washington. While Russia does possess more weapons than the U.S. in total, the 2011 New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty limits both sides to 1,600 weapons on standby each.